Good morning guys, it's KJ. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, as always, thank you for coming back. Today I am gonna give you guys a little tour of Art of Animation. John and I got up early this morning. You can see Art of Animation behind me. Uh, kids are still sleeping with grandma, so we decided to make use of our morning. I got up, I worked out, um, and John and I decided to take a walk. So we figured let's take you along on the walk. Here, Art of Animation, this is where you come in. You've got Simba, Nemo, Ariel, and Lightning McQueen. Those are the themes of the four hotels or themed hotels that are here. If you look over to your left, that is where the buses are. And then I'm gonna take you guys inside where John is waiting for me. The Magical Express will drop you off over there. This is where you can get your luggage. And then if you walk in here, this is the main lobby area. And as you guys can see, since it's art of animation, all along the wall are all of these awesome drawings. And look who it is! It's my handsome husband! Here's where you would check out over here, kind of where John just walked by. This is where you do the art class. And then we're going to walk this way and head towards the store and the cafeteria. Behind me is a little artist corner, so they have three times a day where you can draw. Uh, my my mother-in-law and my stepdaughter, we did that yesterday. We drew Forky and we drew Donald Duck. So if you, guys happen to be, <laughs> if you guys happen to be here at the resort during those times, uh, it's a lot of fun. So check it out. That's transportation. That's where you get the buses to all the parks. In front of us is Ink and Paint Shop. That is the gift store. And then to my right is outside where the pool. If you can see through that door over there, there's the arcade. And if you go through, landscape of flavors yeah which is the dining hall so over here if you guys notice like the store is, has uh, different paint bottles so they really made uh, gave it some nice touches oh here we go here I mentioned the animation Academy those are the times and it's located where I showed you and as John just said you can buy sketches here too there's the book you can look through Oh look, there's Sporky. My drawing was not as good as that. The other side of the gift shop. Yeah. And then here, as John said, is Landscape of Flavors. And this is the dining hall for the resort. The view of the cafeteria, the dining hall, whatever you'd like to call it. The beverage is over here. And if you keep going this way, we're going to walk out. And we will hit that doors you can also come out the doors down there and you will hit the big blue and that is the main swimming pool for the area we're gonna go take a walk around it check out Nemo and crush over there you can see the drop-off and that is where you can guys can get suicide snack laundry bathrooms and here's the pool this is the biggest one um, you can see Nemo and Marlon in the background, but let's go take a look. If you're looking to uh, get out of the pool for a bit and dry off, they have the porthole sets set up already for you to play. Uh, and the family can do a little beanbag toss. Yeah, it's nice. It's in the shade. So this really is the main pool area. You yeah. can see there's tons of chairs. The water is yeah. It big. is the hub, castle, magic, yeah. uh, you know, tree of life of the hotel. Yeah. And Central I'm, point. Totally. The theming is great too. I see there's some jellyfish I'll show you guys that are like raining from them. And we'll go check out Nemo and Marlon. If you have little kids, this one's probably great. The water is pretty shallow. It looks like, I don't know, it's like barely anything. Uh, here's the jellyfish. Probably a fun place to play with your little ones. Again, our kids are a bit bigger, so they're probably past that. But if you have little kids, you still would love this. And then if you look behind over here, there's Nemo and Marlon. Splash pad area. It's another great place to hang out with your kids. Here's Crush over there. Stingray, the teacher. I don't remember his name. Again, if you do, comment below and let me know. But over here's a splash pad, which definitely cleans it a little one. They have towels here at all the pools. There's also the towel return. They have life jackets as well. So if your kids aren't great swimmers or if they're just really young and they want, I mean, you want as a parent to have life jackets, that's great too. So like this area, if John turns around. So this way is a great view. That's the main area. Yep, and there's the pool from the backside, the backside of water, if you will. <laughs> Let us know if you get that reference. 
like I said, raise the plane with the kids. Over here, we got one of these guys. Play over here. I think it's fun, and I'm a grown up. We have kids, this is actually a slide. John and I missed this earlier, but I'm just going to add this in. So there's little dude, and you come out over here. Snarflat. If you guys recognize what this is from in The Little Mermaid, comment down below because that's my favorite Disney movie of all time and I'm not sure what that is. And then there he is, Prince Eric. Isn't he handsome? John's my Prince Eric. If we keep walking this way, you can see he joined Ursula. One of the things I love about the all-star values are the, the, what would you call this? Characters? Artwork? Or, oh. It's like more themed and don't get me wrong, I love my modern and deluxe hotel, but it's just a totally different experience when you're doing that. But you don't get this at the boardwalk. And again, I love the boardwalk. We stayed there on our last trip, but I don't know, there's something cool about the giant Ursula. Oh, look, you can see Flotsam and Jetsam behind him. Flotsam and Jetsam? Yeah. Sure. And then it's my favorite crab, and also King Triton. And then if you look right here, here's the pool. Looks like I'm just giving some kind of a swim lesson, so I don't want to get too close. But we hung out here the other day. It's really nice. There's a lot of people. There's lots of wild cherries. You can see Ariel in the distance. Maybe we'll go take a closer look at her. But it, it's like, I like the pools on the end. We'll actually go take a look at the cars pool too. But what's nice is that there's not as many people, it's not as crowded, and you get a chair, and it's just, we liked it over here yesterday. So then we walked around to the other side of the pool so you can see a good view of the pool over here. We sat over here, my uh, stepdaughter, my mother in law, we sat right over here yesterday because I need to be under an umbrella, so I had to pull the chair over to the umbrella. But this is our view, there's a bathroom over there, so it's great, we weren't near that close to our room, but there's a bathroom, so that always helps. And over here, here she is, my favorite princess. So here's Ariel, so this is like the very end of the resort. We'll head back the other way, and I'll show you guys where we're staying at Lion King. And this is the non-suites. Oh, yes, thank you for pointing that out. If you guys can see, this is kind of built like all stars. The doors are external, where the other suites your doors are internal, so just as an FYI, your doors are outside. If you're staying in one of the other three areas, the doors are inside. So across the water from us here at the aerial spot at uh, Art of Animation. Here's the back of uh, the aerial hotel. We just came from that way. Are the gondolas that are opening up soon at Walt Disney World, and they are going to connect at the Art of Animation and Pop Century. That's Pop Century right across the water, and you can see you can where see one it. of the uh, right terminals for the gondolas are going to be. So. Yeah. Um, next year, sometime in the fall, you'll be able to take the gondolas all over Walt Disney World from Art of Animation and Pop Century. So now we're walking from, we're on the back side of Ariel. Again, these rooms, if you wanted a water view, here's the water that way. Because you can actually come out from your room. Oh, and you can really see Pop Century here. John and the kids actually stayed there uh, the first night because my mother-in-law and I came the next day. How was it? Uh, I've stayed there before, but uh, the rooms this time had been refurbished and very nice. You won't find a bigger TV screen <laughs> than any other hotel. It's probably a 60 inch screen and do a 24 charging outlets. So it is state of the art. You counted them? Yes. Oh my gosh. This is my husband. Oh, when, your husband when your husband works in media, as John does, these are the kind of things that he thinks about. <laughs> back side of uh, of the back side of Ursula and the hotel and so as we walk back around this way we're gonna go make a right nope I'm sorry we're gonna make a left I do that all the time <laughs> um, and we will be back in the Lion King area we're right here I got it right that time that's where the Little Mermaid entrance is and then over here on the left is Lion King and that is where we are staying so we Zazu Leaf blow in the background, sorry about that. You can see the hyena star up here. And then if you go this way, which we will, you can see 
The boneyard. The yellow show graveyard. Oh, that, yes, yellow. You guys are going to have little kids probably in the whole area. Play on the ground is kind of squishy, so I guess it's like meant for kids. But you can go through here. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, and there's a little kid that you can play with. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But you can go through here. So again, if you have kids, our kids are a little too big, but if you have small ones, I'm sure they'd love to play over here. And again, look if you look at the ground, it's like that squishy stuff. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, 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 that's kind of cool